Well, working up a sweat, speaking of kids, has never been more fun for a Spokane Elementary cross-country team, so much so that the team boasts the largest roster in the city. Wow. KXOI4's Alex LaFries working for you with why so many kids are showing up to work out. In an age of iPads, video games, and smartphones, it seems like kids are getting outside less and less. But for an enormous group of kids here at Finch Elementary, they get to do just that. They run, they jump, they get to enjoy being kids. And we just try to make it fun for the kids and make it a, a more of an event than a, than a practice. It could be the infectious music blasting from the stereo. One hop this time. <laughs> or the drills disguised as games. Maybe it's words of encouragement from PE teacher and coach Dan Farley. Raise your hand if you've got more than 11. But whatever it is, the formula for the Finch Elementary cross country team works. They have over 180 kids twice the amount of the average squad. We emphasize that they're being part of something special, something bigger than themselves. Come to a practice and you'll realize just how special it is. Singing, dancing, at times the young even leading the old. When I was younger, I never got to be up in the front doing all the workouts. I was always back there. And now the second graders even get to do it. I couldn't do it until I was in fourth grade, so. The team is part of Active for Youth, a nonprofit that revived elementary cross country five years ago after the city cut funding for after school sports. Farley says a program like this gives his students a sense of accomplishment and community that's hard to find anywhere else. Many of our kids would not ever get an opportunity to uh, be in a sport, wear a uniform, or uh, participate in an event like this. So what makes this team so extraordinary? The answer just might be, everything. I just love everyone with er, at Cross Country and Mr. Farley and just everything. In North Spokane, Alex LaFries, KXLY4 News.